and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And one of these people could find her. Vincent Chin. Jason Torres. Becky Doherty. Today's episode, Who Pinched Pizza? And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hey. Good. Second man. How you doing? Okay, okay. Good crowd. All right. How are you guys? You all right? Fine. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's get started. Fine. Get the chief up here. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's get started. All right, gumshoes. Carmen San Diego and her gang of greedy grabbers is at it again. This time they pounced on Pisa, Italy. In the heart of Italy's Tuscany region, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has stood at an angle for 800 years. Built on soft ground, the tower began its famous tilt while it was still under construction. Early this morning, just as the first light of dawn was reaching its rosy fingers across the northern sky of Italy, Vic the Slick, that sneak, stole down the steps of the tower, straightened it up, then took off with it. There'll be no joy in Pisa's piazzas until the toppled tower is returned. Dick the Slick is a small-time fence with a big mouth, even bigger ambitions, and a pension for plaid. Your mission, gumshoes, vanquish Vic the Slick, return the tower, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Here's what we know. Vic the Slick, brilliant teen brain that he is, took the Tippy Tower to uh, Tip City. That's with two P's, and it's short for a tippy canoe. It's in the Buckeye State, just north of Dayton. Greg. Thanks, Steve. Okay, guys, name the state. Is it Indiana, Ohio, or Illinois? Remember the clues that we heard? Tippy canoe, the Buckeye State, and just north of Dayton. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Put that evidence together. Vincent's ready, so is Becky, and so is Jason. Vincent, what do you say? Illinois. Illinois. What do you think, Jason? Indiana. Indiana. Becky. Illinois. Illinois. The answer we're looking for is Ohio. Sorry, guys. Ah, there he goes. And that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Well, I'll tell you what. Before we get too far into this, then, let's find out a little bit more about you detectives, shall we? Let's see. First off, Vincent, what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, well, I like skateboarding. Really? How'd you get into that? Um, well, my friend got me into it, and um, I kind of learned from myself, and I um, learn after school when I go to a skate shop. Cool. Okay. Good to have you on the case. Jason, good enough. <laughs> Thank you. And Jason, I uh, understand that you, you have an unusual collection. Yes, I um, make um, stitches with lanyard. I have just a few here. Just happened to have a few with you, did you? Cool. For instance, this is um, a, um, a box mm -hmm. and a spiral. Mm -hmm. You can also make them with shoelace. Um, this one is called the spy, uh, spiral. Yeah, I like that one. This one is called um, the Roman Staircase. Cool. And this one is called the Cobra. Cool. Let's hear it for the lanyards, at least. Good. Good to have you on the case. And Becky is a ballet dancer. Sort of. Sort of. How long have you been doing ballet? Nine years. Nine years. What's your favorite ballet? The Nutcracker. And you have an interesting story about this. You had several roles in this, correct? Yes. Um, I started about when I was eight, and I was a mouse. And then I gradually moved up, and I was a little boy. And I became a maid, and now I'm an angel. And then I hope to become Spanish core or um, even Sugar Plum Fairy. Well, we, we would hope for that too. Sugar Plum Player Fairy. Sugar Plum Fairy. Good luck. 
Good to have you on the case. Let's get started. Now we've got a report coming in from Acme Celeb Net agent Paul Schaefer. Paul? Do, do, dwee, dwee, ah. Sco, do, 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 dwa, dwee. Hey, gumshoes. Go check out a city settled by French fur traders. They gave both the town and the lake a name derived from the Cree for muddy water. And the national mints there, too. I spell M. I, child. And that spells mint. I'm talking about the national mint. I can't tell you where it is. But it's got something to do with a lake. In the Cree language, baby. <laughs> Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody doesn't like Paul. Okay. Come to name the city. Is it Minneapolis, Minnesota, Winnipeg, Manitoba, or Regina, Saskatchewan? Remember the clues that we heard from Paul, settled by French fur traders, town and lake name derived from Cree for muddy water and national mint. Put the evidence together, come up with an answer fast. Becky's ready, so is Vincent and Jason waiting on you. There it is. Vincent, what do you say? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Jason. I said Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Becky. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. The answer we're looking for is Winnipeg. Nice job, Jason and Becky. Okay, so that means, Vincent, you have 50, Jason, you have 60, and Becky has 60 as well. Now for our next clue. It's time for us to check the airways for some more information. Let's check the World Band Radio. Башня Пизы сегодня явилась в Сибири. В единственном городе в истории, в котором население росло с нуля до больше миллиона на меньше, чем 70 лет. Ученые и академ города это не понимают. Больше новости потом. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Novosibirsk, no Norilsk, or Kirov? Remember the clues that we heard? Siberia, zero to one million population in less than 70 years, an academic town. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Vincent looks like he's ready. Becky's ready. And Jason is ready, too. Vincent, what do you say? Norsk. Uh, Norilsk, okay? Norilsk. Jason? Kirov. Kirov. Becky? Norilsk. Norilsk. The answer we're looking for is Novosibirsk. Tough break there, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Academic Town is the area of the city that holds the huge University of Siberia. So nobody gets anywhere on that one. Vincent, you have 50. Jason, you have 60. Becky, you have 60 as well. Still a very tight game. Wait a minute. That means only one thing. It's time for the lightning round. I'm going to give you a chance now to pick up some more Acme Crime Bucks. What we're going to do is I have three questions here. The first one of you that answers any one of these correctly, I'll give you an extra five Crime Bucks. So watch closely. Here we go. The Soviet Union shares the longest geographical boundary with which of the following countries? Is it India, Poland, or China? Vincent. China. China's right. Nice job. Question two, nicknamed the Bolshoi of Siberia, this operatic theater in Novosibirsk is known for presenting which of the following? Is it ballet, movies, or trade shows? Becky? Ballet. Ballet's right. Oh, yeah. The sugar plum lady coming through there. Okay, question three. In 1988, a scientist voiced protest against a Siberian paper mill for polluting Lake Baikal, which contains 20% of the world's fresh water. Was this scientist Gorbachev, Baryshnikov, or Sakharov? Becky. Sakharov. Sakharov is right. Nice job. Okay, so Vincent, you have 55, Jason, you have 60, and Becky, you have 70 at the end of three. Now, Gumshoes, I want to remind you, we are still looking for Vic the Slick and the Tower of Pisa. The one of you that catches Vic the Slick will then have a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Greg? Yes, yeah, Chief. Greg, I have an incentive for the Gumshoes. Oh, great. Gumshoes. The one of you that catches Carmen San Diego, I will send anywhere in the lower 48 states. means you can take a vacation to oh, odd West Virginia or peculiar Missouri or perhaps uh, rowdy Kentucky or bland Missouri. <laughs> Anywhere. But in order to win this reward, you have first got to capture Vic the Slick. Now get on with it. Greg. Yes, Chief. OK, 